Hello everybody, my name is William Red and I'm a TESOL instructor. Thank you so much for watching my video today. This video is going to cover essential and general bar vocabulary. So nouns, verbs, adjectives, and useful expressions that you can use to get through or to survive your first bar experience in English. Now, why would this be helpful? This would be helpful if, for example, you do an immersion experience in the United States and you go out with friends. Or let's say someone asks you out on a date. This is going to be helpful vocabulary to help you get through that experience as you progress in your English journey. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started today. Outline. The outline is simple. We have essential bar vocabulary list where I'll say each word one time. After I say each word, you're more than welcome to pause the video and replay so you can hear how a native speaker says these essential vocabulary terms. After that's done and you're comfortable, we move on to vocabulary one through 12, where I kind of explain and break down how these words are used in their contexts. So that's vocabulary one through 12, broken up into groups of four. Moving forward, we'll have a pause activity where you can use images to identify the use of certain vocabulary words. So then you can pause the video, look at the vocabulary, and try to think of what vocabulary came to mind when you looked at that image. Then you have vocabulary 13 through 24 divided into four groups and divided into four vocabulary words each. Then we have another pause activity, similar situation, more vocabulary identification with images. Then we have a bar timeline where I use the essential bar vocabulary list from the moment someone says, let's go out, all the way until someone says, um, can, may I have the bill? Something of that nature. Moving forward, we have general bar vocabulary list. This list will not be as in depth as the first portion, but it is additional terms that you may hear at a bar. So if you're curious about that, you're more than welcome to uh, take a look at that list. The definitions are laid out there on that slide. Finally, I'll show you some resources that you can access, followed by a quick thank you for watching the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Essential bar vocabulary list. Designated driver, or DD. Bouncer. Bartender. Drinks. Keg. Booze. Soft drink. Happy hour. On tap. A round of drinks. Last call. Cheers! Top shelf liquor. Buzzed. Plastered or wasted. To tip. To pay. Chug. To be drunk. I would like a... I'd like a... Let's go out. What can I get you? Can I get the bill? Now this is when you can pause the video. Replay how I'm saying the words. Listen to pronunciation. Focus on vowels. Does your first language have more vowels than English does? If so, what vowel are we using? How does it sound? Another thing to focus on is syllable stress within a word. Where is the word receiving the syllable stress? On the first or second syllable? What do you think? Once you're comfortable, we can move on to breaking down these words and how they're used, starting with vocabulary one through four. Designated driver or DD. This is the person that doesn't drink. They go out with you and your friends. They make sure everyone is responsible and often they drive everyone home to make sure everyone got home safe. Designated driver. Bartender. A bartender is a person who works at a bar, the person behind the counter, also known as a bar. They serve drinks, they might get you a beer, they chat with customers, and they help customers 
pay for their drinks. Drinks. This is a general term in bar contexts that is simply another way to say beverage. Typically, it is alcoholic, but it's not required. If you'd like to know how to say a drink that does not have alcohol in it, that will be in the general bar vocabulary list later in this video. Bouncer. A bouncer is someone outside of the bar that makes sure that everyone coming in is of legal drinking age. They also stop fights, make sure everyone is being responsible. Sometimes they're inside the bar, protecting and keeping people safe, like the bartender, for example. There could be one, two, three, many bouncers, depending on the population in the bar. So, essentially, they're a security guard at the bar. Vocabulary 5 through 8, a keg, a metal barrel full of beer. Okay, you might have seen this at a house party, maybe a fraternity or a sorority, a keg. Booze, that is slang for alcohol. Booze, soft drink, non-alcoholic drink like soda or pop. This is Coca-Cola, Sprite, Fanta. You use these drinks as a mixer or after you've had hard liquor or a spirit. Happy hour. This is typically at 5 p.m. So it's a time of day when drinks cost less. It could be a discount. It could be that drinks are cheaper. You're going to pay less money for a drink. Vocabulary 9 through 12. On tap. It's beer connected to a keg and a tap. At the bar, there are these levers that you pull and beer comes out. That is on tap. A round of drinks. This is a new drink for everyone at the table or bar. So for example, you're with your friends and a friend says, next round of drinks is on me. This is to say that they're going to pay for your next drink. Last call. 10 minutes before the bar closes. This is when you call a taxi. This is when you call an Uber. You finish your drink, wrap up conversation. Essentially, you're ending your night. Cheers. This is an expression before taking your first drink. It's sort of like in Spanish when someone says salud or sante, right? Cheers. Now, activity one, pause the video and name the images with the vocabulary. Once you've done that and you're comfortable, we can move on to the next set of vocabulary words. Vocabulary 13 through 16. Top shelf liquor. In the photo, there are shelves. Top shelf is the very top one up here. Okay. And this shelf of liquor usually costs more than the other shelves. There's also bottom shelf, which is the cheapest or the alcohol that costs the least, or it is, it just doesn't cost as much. B buzzed. If you're buzzed, you're happy, you're smiling, you have drank a little bit, but you're not drunk, you might be chatty, this is buzzed. Whereas plastered or wasted, this is slang. And this is to say that you have drank too much. For example, the man in the photo, he's laying on the bar. He is unconscious because he drank too much. To tip. To tip is to give money for someone's service. For example, a bartender, when he served you alcohol, when he was talking to you, or she. Sometimes there's a jar and you put money in it. Other times you leave the money on the bar or the counter. My suggestion is to give the tip to the bartender directly. Put it in their hand because someone could steal the tip. Moving forward, we have 17 through 20, to pay, to give money for drinks. 
This is usually at the end of the night. Sometimes it's referred to as a tab. You're settling your tab. You're paying your bill. Chug. This is to drink really fast, really fast, or to down a drink. To be drunk. This is like plastered or wasted, but much more formal. If you're drunk, you have drink, you've drunk, you've consumed in excess, you're not able to drive, you might be emotional drunk. I would like, I'd like a, this is to order in a proper way. So there are other ways to say this, but if you can remember, I would like a, or I'd like a, the person behind the bar, the bartender will understand. Vocabulary 21 through 24. Let's go out. This is to say that you are inviting someone to a bar. Maybe you're friends or it's a date. Either way, this is how you get started on your journey to going to the bar. Hey, let's go out. You want to go to the bar. What can I get you? This is a common phrase, you know, from the perspective of a bartender. This is when they ask you what you want to drink. What can I get you? Can I get the bill? This is requesting the bill. You're done drinking. It's the end of the night. You want to go home, so you pay, okay? Is this seat taken? This is a kind way of asking whether you can or cannot sit somewhere. Maybe that seat is being occupied by someone in the restroom. You would ask the person sitting next to that chair, is this seat taken? It's just to see if you can sit there. It's being respectful. Now we have activity two where you can pause the video and name the images with the vocabulary that we covered. And when you're ready, we can move on to the bar timeline. So let's go out. What can I get you? I would like a, is this seat taken? Can I get the bill? This is the order of vocabulary expressions that you can use throughout the night for your first bar experience. Moving on, we have general bar vocabulary list. You're more than welcome to pause the video, look at the vocabulary words. The definitions are there as well. These are words and phrases that you would hear at a bar typically as well, but they're not as essential, but they can be useful as well. So it's up to you. That vocabulary is there if you need it or want it. These are some common resources. If you go to Quizlet um, and create a free account, you can actually look up my information, William S. Red 25, and I've created flashcards that you can use to practice the vocabulary. So this can be done on your phone, um, on a laptop, a computer, whatever is convenient for you, so that if you're out and you want to practice vocabulary, you have access to it and it's free. Bar vocabulary in English, famous bar scenes in Hollywood movies. Maybe you want to be inspired to practice vocabulary. Here are some famous scenes in movies and bars using vocabulary. English words and expression for the bar. Drinks every proper Irish pub must serve in case you go to Ireland. And Irish slang words that'll have you chatting like a local. So thank you again so much for watching this video. Attached, you'll see my professional email, you'll see my LinkedIn, you'll also see my Quizlet, and my YouTube channel, Red Talks, and my Twitter. So, if you're interested in following me or finding more information, other content, by all means, take a look around. Again, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Have a great day.